Hi Kindy, it's Miss Conroy here and welcome to your art lesson. Today we are going to do an artist called Ken Doan and we are going to be drawing the Sydney Harbour Bridge. So it's a very exciting lesson. It's a little bit tricky but I think that we can go step by step. So I have a pencil here, just any lead pencil. I have some paper and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide our page by what's called a horizon line. So we're going to draw a line just a little bit maybe at the top, close up to the top of our paper. That way then we'll have enough space that we can start adding in our bridge. So our first part, we're going to do a rectangle. Okay, so I know all of you are really good at your shapes at this stage. So we're just doing a rectangle. I hope that you can see that. And then we're going to do another rectangle a little bit further because this is the Harbour Bridge. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Ken Doan's art was not perfect in any way. He loved to do um, abstract, which means it doesn't have to look exactly like the bridge. So we're going to do a curve here. All right, so that's kind of like a backwards C. And we're going to join it with another curve here. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Look, my lines are not perfect. Just do your best. Now we're going to do a line across. Okay, hmm, how are we going to make this look more like a bridge? I'm going to add some detail, some jiggy jaggy triangles. How cool is that? Oh, now I'm starting to see. It's definitely looking like a bridge here. And we're going to add some lines. I'm here at home with my cheeky cat and he's just jumped up on the sink to try and steal a little drink. He's such a naughty moo. Okay, so we've done our bridge. Now, what's next? Well, around this part of our paper, we're going to do something exciting. We're going to draw the, um, the opera house. And that's what's going to make you realize that it's Sydney. So it's like a dinosaur tooth. We're going to do it kind of curved. One. We're going to do another here. And it's curved again. It's like a triangle shape, straight line and a curve or like jiggy jaggy dinosaur teeth. That's number two. Here is another part of our Opera House, which is so beautiful. There is number three. We've done our bridge and we're going to do one more for our Opera House. Well done. Okay, so there we have our Opera House. You can make it more curvy or you can make it look a little bit different to mine. Hmm, I want to add some more things in the background. I'm going to do some a rectangle. I'm going to do a square. I'm going to make it look like a city in the background. So lots of fun on this one. You can do lots of big squares. You can do little ones, little rectangles. And then I'm going to add in boxes to make it look like the city so one two three how cool that's starting to come together really nicely i'm going to do the same over here so it's just all shapes it takes a bit of time but it's really worth it because your art is going to look incredible okay and we're going to add some more you can add lots of, even you could just do like lines like that because to make it look far away. And you could even add in lines like that if you want. So that's just going to make it look like buildings in the city. Okay. Hopefully that you're going to enjoy doing this and taking your time. It's a lot of squares, a lot of shapes. If you get a sore hand, take a little break. Okay, 
Hmm, I've forgotten some things. Let me see. I'm going to add in some triangles. I wonder what they could be. They're going to be the ships. And I'm going to add in somewhere for the harbour, the opera house to be sitting on. And I'm going to add two more little jiggy jaggy shapes to make it look even more like Sydney Harbour. There will be a lot more ships than that. There's Naughty Moo Moo, my cat running around the house. I'm sure he'd love to be on the video with you, maybe next time. Okay, now this is taking quite a bit of time. So once we've got that much done, we're gonna add more little things. You could add in some boats. I'm just adding lots of triangles for boats. I might add in shapes. Lots of cool triangles. You could add in your own little sailing boat and our own details. So we've done this much and I'm really impressed. And you've got a few options. Keep adding in your boat, keep adding in your buildings. And when you color this in, this is going to be fabulous. You have a few options in that you can use some colored pencils like I have here. But if you want, you could also get some paint and you could get some blue paint. Now what I like to do for things like this is if you have some crayons or if you have some of colored pencils, then you can start to color in first. This is going to take some time. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to start adding in my colors. So one thing I love to do is I love to add in my colors and then you can add watercolor paint over it for even more detail. So this is going to be beautiful. I'll be back in a few minutes, Kindy, with the finished piece. <laughs> 